Parrish and I make jewelry. I do drawing on metal, so I draw with Prismacolor on copper. I'm Ann Havel. I'm an enamelist and um, a okay metalsmith, and I put glass on metal basically, which is what enameling is. I first came as a student and uh, I took a, an anodizing aluminum class. This is the brooch that I made in that class. Um, and even then I was interested in color, so I was trying to figure out how to get color into my work. Well, my connection is Deb. My first time here was 2006. I took a workshop with Deb. I made a piece that someone bought from me that I made in her workshop. It was awesome. She taught us how to cold connect, something I'd never done. I actually had only learned how to start metalsmithing the prior year. She does uh, some sculptural things in her class, and so I have a tool that I invented that allows you to create more uh, volume in your work. So what I did was I demoed how to do a cone with my tool and then how to rivet on that cone. And so, um, you know, it was a little bit of both fabrication and cold connecting. So, and then, and then uh, today she showed my class what she does. Yeah, we did a demo, I, d I did a demo on uh, painting enamels on top of um, a smooth and a, and a surface called sugar fired surface. And um, our students tend to have a lot of crossover. She's even got some of my students and I have some of her former students. So yeah. it just seemed like a kind of a marriage that was perfect between the love of color. I think color is what really connects the two of us yeah. uh, in our work that uh, we attract a lot of the same students. I have no idea what it is about color. I, I just, I, you know, I, I started out doing some work with stones and then I started working with some chemical patinas and then that, the chemical patina just wasn't enough and so then I just started adding some color to the patinas and that's kind of how I got to the process that I have now. Yeah, and I was a sewer and I, that would allow me to choose all the most colorful and pleasing fabrics to make my clothing endeavors with and then I was photography and I could take the perfect picture of nature because there I always felt I could find the perfect color balance out there and this, I would strive towards that and eventually other media but it's interesting that each one had a pursuit of color as a basis of why I chose it. I think some things are muscle memory too like you know I think like in our work you know a lot of what we do we don't we're not really processing the pro the steps to do something it's just muscle memory you know and that and an interesting thing i think about teaching is that when you teach you have to break that down then so you have to kind of back up go okay so i'm doing this so I, how am i going to explain how i'm doing that you know and and it makes you better at your at your work as you teach because you have to focus on each step more closely so I it causes you to observe more yeah. and I definitely have altered the way I do my own work in some ways and also the way I teach. One of the things I find in, in workshops is I'll have students come into a workshop and they want to learn a new technique and make a piece that they can sell. I'm like, you know, that's not really what you're here for. You're here to learn a technique and to perfect that technique and that piece isn't going to be fabulous the first time you do it. You know what, if you made it poorly, then you're right, you shouldn't charge a lot. But if you made it well, yeah. then you need to value yourself and you need to put the proper price tag on that piece. And, it, and if nobody said, and if you think no one's willing to pay for it, it's only because the person it belongs to hasn't come along yet. I, th I don't think until you've taken a workshop, you really can understand the impact of it and not just in your in your studio practice, but I mean, I have um, I have a friend that I met in a workshop 30 years ago, and we're still friends. Yeah, I notice like the students that are young that come here, oftentimes have professors that have taught here, and so they can appreciate the experience and share it with their students to in and encourage them to come, either do work study here or maybe even a residency after they graduate. And my piece of advice is to come take a workshop at Aramont because what they learn from that experience will absolutely change the way they approach what they, what they do and possibly influence the, the direction in which they go. Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, what people learn in a workshop like this, they learn as much in a week as they do in a semester at a college, you know, because it's so uh, focused. And um, I, so I think, you know, for a lot of people, 
you know, this can, depending on how they want to spend their career, you know, if they just want to be a maker, you know, they can pretty much learn what they need to learn by taking various workshops from people whose work they're interested in. You know, people bond in those situations, you know. It's great, and it's, so it's really special.